Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God, the revelator once again, and hoping the grace and mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. We meet in yet another presentation in this year of portals and teleportations and praying that those that enjoyed the conference, you are continually blessed by the Spirit of the Lord. We begin the year with our usual presentations, the ongoing sermons and the series presentations. And today I want to talk about the spiritual covering. But the spiritual covering that I want to talk about, it is the covering that you get from another man, the covering that you get from your mentor, the covering that you get from an individual, a representative that you have been given by God to pray for you, to intercede for you, to suffer on your behalf, to endure many things on your behalf. Yes, of course, I'm talking also about the interference or the affiliation of the Holy Spirit in that spiritual covering, but the fact still stands that if you have been given a man by God to pray for you, you have not only been given the Holy Spirit, you have been given also a vessel of honor. You have been given a man that is prepared to go through all challenges, all sufferings, a man that is prepared to absorb all your challenges, a man that has sacrificed to join you in your own personal warfare, and then he fights side by side with you. That alone is a spiritual covering. That alone is called a backup. That alone is called a reinforcement. And I'm not here to talk about a mentor. I'm here to talk about spiritual covering. Now, let us go to the book of 2 Kings, chapter 2, verse 1. And it reads, and it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind, that Elijah went with Elijah from Gilgal. And Elijah said unto Elijah, Tell you which is to say, wait here, I pray thee, for the Lord sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said, as long as the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave you. Elisha is saying, as long as the Lord liveth, that is category number one. And then he says, as thy soul liveth, meaning that he knows that he, there is the Lord that is in heaven who will never leave his throne for the petty things that are happening here on earth. And there is the soul of the man that is called Elijah, who is his mentor, who represents his covering. This is why Elijah is saying, as long as thy soul liveth, but he then gives credit to the higher authority and says, as the Lord liveth. So they went to Bethel together, and the sons of the prophet that were at Bethel came forth to Elijah and said unto him, Do you know that the Lord will take away your master from your head today? These other junior prophets, these other student prophets, they were under the classes of Elijah. But he, they are coming to inform Elisha, who is one of the students. Why? Because Elisha was the closest disciple. Elisha was the closest student prophet. Elisha was the closest to his master. Though there were classes of discipleship, though there were classes of the prophetic school, but the one that was closer to his master was Elisha. And remember, 
the school of the prophets was already there before Elisha was recruited. And Elisha did not have to go through the classes and he become a student. Elisha was found plowing with a 12 oxen and he was nearly hit with a mankle. His dimension of calling was different from these other junior prophets who were sitting down in the class. You remember when Elijah had to throw a stick for an ex that had drowned into water. I don't know what he threw, if it was a stone, but they were building the prophetic school and the exit drowned inside water. Now, the sons of the prophet are telling Elisha that, do you know that your master is going to be taken away from your head? Do you know what that means? He's talking about spiritual covering. Being taken away from your head, your master is going to be removed. And when they are saying this, they are saying it in a way of warning him that with the way that you are close to your master, with the way that you depend on your master, with the way that you depend on your mentor, with the way that you are so connected to your mentor, do you know that your mentor is going to be taken away from you? Do you know that your mentor is probably going to be taken away from you? That is the school of the prophets informing Elisha, one of the prophets who was closest to his master. Now, and Elisha said unto them, yes, I know, hold your peace. And Elisha said unto him, Elisha, wait here, which is to say tell here, I pray thee, for the Lord sent me to Jericho, and said, As the Lord liveth, and as, I, as thy soul liveth, I will not leave you. This was the second time that Elisha was being tested by Elijah to wait behind. And even the one that is telling him to wait behind, who is Elijah, is trying to test to see, is this the right vessel to invest the things of the Spirit before I depart? This is a test that Elijah was giving unto Elisha on two separate occasions. He's telling Elisha to remain behind. Why? Because he wants to test it to see, is this the right vessel to invest in the things of the Spirit or I'm merely wasting my time investing things of the Spirit in a person that will betray you tomorrow. Investing the deep things of the Spirit in a person that will give up tomorrow. Investing the deep things of the Spirit in a person that will wake up, ganging up with the community against you. Investing the things of the Spirit uh, in a person that will not yield spiritual fruits, that will not show any signs of spiritual maturity, that will not show any visible signs of spiritual growth. There are many categories which I can give you, child of God, which can cause sleepless nights for a man of God, for your mentor, after having invested things of the spirit in you, and you wake up to hear that one was committing fornication. You wake up to hear that one is committed adultery. And after you wake up to hear that that person has committed adultery, the very same person that has committed adultery is the very same person that was earlier telling you that he now wanted to hear the voice of God directly from heaven. What a level of stupidity. I came across exactly what I'm explaining here is the revelator. It's an experience that I, I came across. You groom and raise someone. You invest in the things of the Spirit inside someone inside eight years, only for that person to wake up having committed adultery. Then when you start checking the track record, you realize that this person was bluffing earlier on, talking about how he wanted to hear the voice of God directly, talking as if he never needed the spiritual covering, speaking as if he did not find the necessity of having a mentor. Yet that person was not even strong enough to understand his own visions, to understand his own life. Yet that person is not even strong enough to zip up his pants and stay away from ladies. Spiritual covering 
is needed child of God. Elisha continues following Elijah. As the Lord liveth, as thy soul liveth, I will not leave you. While is the class of the other prophets, the junior prophets, they were watching. All they did was inform Elisha that, do you know that your master is going to be taken away from your head, which is being removed? In a vision some days ago, I was carrying an umbrella and there was a disciple that was following me. And I saw a very strong wind and that came, very mighty wind that came pulling away the umbrella that I was carrying. But I still held on to the umbrella, it was not taken away. You know what happens to the umbrella there when there is a mighty wind? It can almost break. When I woke up from that vision, I told my wife and I said, they want to remove the spiritual covering. I need to pray for the disciples. I immediately engaged into an intercession. When I finished the intercession, it was almost midnight. Then I went to sleep. When I woke up in the morning, I realized there was a message that entered inside my, 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 my app. When I checked that message, a disciple had been involved in a tragedy. There was an accident that had happened. But the, the, the degree of that accident and the degree of the impact that happened in that accident. When I started investigating it by summoning the spirit that wanted to attack that disciple, it was clear that the same demon that had tried to, to remove the covering is the same demon that it caused an object to hit the disciple on the head. A moment of just the umbrella, the covering being slightly moved, there was a tragedy, there was a disaster that happened. Then I started asking myself, I started questioning myself, what if the umbrella can be removed for good from these disciples that now think that they are now spiritual? What if the umbrella can be removed even just for a day even just for a week you cannot survive without the covering even if you do inside a month the devil is trying to fool, fool you the devil is trying to buy you out there's no there's no way the devil is failing to strike you with what you have received there's no way the devil is just going to leave you walking away with what you have had. The secrets that you have had, they are a threat to the kingdom of, of, of the devil. The secrets that you have had, Lucifer will make sure that he, he tricks you for the rest of your life. And you are not safe if you are not under a covering. And the sons of the prophet, that way Jericho came to Elijah and said unto him again, do you know that the Lord will take away your master from thy head? And he answered and said, I know. Please hold your peace. These sons of the prophet who were also students, they kept on telling El Elijah is also is not just a student. Elisha is working very close to Elijah and the impartation that is already there allows Elisha to know everything that is master. There is a level of covering that allows you to know the agenda, the mission, even the teaching that your, your master is about to present. Anything that your mentor is about to do, you no longer need to be told. You no longer need instructions. You can sense that my mentor is about to do this. My mentor needs this. My mentor requires this. We are in a business of, of having to invoke, to, to to push and shove, to, to, to shove things down your throat. Why? Because you are not fully subjected under the spiritual covering. This is why when you're not fully subjected under the spiritual covering, everything that we have to instruct you, we have to shove it down your throat by force. Why? Because you have not connected. Had you been connected, some of the things that are required, even in the church of Jesus Christ, by your mentor who has been sent by our Lord Jesus Christ, you would not have to tell you twice. Some things that your mentor then gradually preaches about, you will talk already be having a hint of what he is about to teach if you are truly under spiritual covering. And Elijah said unto him, tell here, and for the third time, 
Elisha said, no, it's the Lord living, and as I saw living, I will not leave you. I'm still going to be explaining this part, as the Lord living, and as I saw living, so that you know that there are two different categories of anointings represented by those two classifications, the Lord and the soul. I'm still going to explain that part. You think the same scriptures that you are common with, right? Why? Because you don't need anything that is not in scripture. That is what you have been trained by these pastors. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters, and they were divided hither and thither, so that they went over. These two, they crossed over to the other side. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah then reached a point of asking Elijah, ask what you want me to do for you before I'm taken away from you. And Elijah said, I pray, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. Child of God, this is the part, this is the burning point, which when I was reading in the prayer room before coming before you, I asked the Holy Spirit, what is the meaning of this? Elisha, do you know that Elijah has got an anointing that was given by the Lord? So when you are saying, give me a double portion of your spirit, what are you talking about? Some time ago, one of my disciples asked me, after session after sunday service she remains behind with me doing the works of the lord through media and she asked me why is it that i she was asking on behalf of herself and the other disciple there are two and she said why is it that i always realize that both of us she was asking like on behalf of herself and the other disciple. So then she was saying, why is it that I and the other disciple, whenever you pray for us, we end up manifesting tongues of your mentor? I did not give her the whole answer. I just promised her that I will have to present something about spiritual covering so that she understands that, that spiritual covering is like a spiritual tribe. Spiritual covering actually has got loins. Not only does it produce loins, or not only does it regenerate, it is a continuous system. Just as you belong to a certain family, you belong to a spiritual tribe. Just as you came from the loins of your father or your mother, and the law is continue you 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 birth your own daughter and your daughter it's 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 a it's a system it's a, it's a hierarchy it's a, it's an order it, it, it's it's a genealogy a cycle what happens is that the moment that i started praying for you what you are going to receive is not only the holy spirit what you are going to receive is that you are going to be inducted into the psyche of the tribe. Meaning that what I am receiving from my mentor, you are also going to be a partaker. This is why you realize that your own son in the physical or your own daughter has got similarities with the, her grandmother or his grandfather yet these two they never met there are similarities of people in an extended family yet the other family members never met yet the cousin never met the grandfather yet your own son never met your father yet these have got genes that are similar bloodlines similarities that are there in the field it is the same thing in the spirit at one moment i, I woke up speaking in a tongue while i was engaged in a battle and I, when i woke up i told my wife i said the tongues that i was using in that back they are tongues of my mentor and she agreed and said i hate those tongues they are tongues that your mentor usually speaks but when this was happening it was happening while i was in a sleep and while i was in a sleep 
I knew the tongues that I was using. Why this I was in a sleep? And why this I was in that sleep? I was in a realm where there was a bakery that was happening. I do have tongues of my own codes. Tongues that you are common. That in the moment when I start speaking those tongues, you know that this is the revelator. And the tongues of my mentor, which you know that the moment that you hear this tongue, this is the tongue of my mentor, the born servant of Christ. And if they are tongues that you are given afresh, those are new tongues that are unique. And they are tongues that are like your fingerprints. They only belong to you. And they are tongues of your mentor. The tongues of your mentor, they represent the tongues of your loins, your spiritual loins. And they are tongues of your tribe, tongues that are given that define the language of your tribe and the tongues that define the language of your mentor and the tongues that represent your own fingerprints that represent your own identity they are your personal tongues so there are different categories of tongues and here we are at a point where we are hearing elisha asking for a double portion which double portion is elisha asking for here the, that portion that Elisha is asking for here is that Elisha does not only want the anointing that is upon Elijah, he also wants the portion of the spirit that is upon the soul of Elijah. Why? Because if he's asking for a double portion, he's not only asking for the double portion of the anointing. Let me read that part in case we have got people that went to do use, useless theology. Because it's clearly written. And it came to pass when they've uh, gone over that Elijah asked Elijah, El Elijah ra ra rather, what shall I do for you before I'm taken away? And Elijah said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit, of thy spirit, a double portion of thy spirit, not the spirit of the Lord, a double portion of thy spirit. Before we even talk about the spirit of the Lord, and the double portion of his spirit is a level that after Elisha has received that spirit, what we are supposed to witness, which is supposed to be evidence that Elisha is now fully under spiritual covering, is that Elisha must start doing the things that his mentor was doing. Even some of the tongues, even some of the languages in the spirit, even the way that Elijah was operating, we are supposed to see it inside Elisha. I'm talking about the spiritual covering. At a level that interacts with your mentor, you cannot talk about being under my spiritual covering and you are behaving like a, a pastor that went to a Bible school. I never went to a Bible school. I don't need to sleep overnight starting the word before I present the word. Before I present the word, I just need to stand in front of the congregation and I start downloading sermons directly from heaven. That is my character spiritually. I, I don't need many attributes that are in the physical for me to do the work of God. That is my CV in the spirit. And when you come under my mentorship, there are similarities that we must have. You believe that you must go to a Bible school while you are, my, you are under my mentorship. You are under this spiritual covering. You don't belong to this spiritual covering. Under this spiritual covering, your teaching, your understanding, it comes directly from the Holy Spirit. Elijah receives the double portion of the Spirit. And after he receives the double portion of the Spirit, there are things immediately that started happening. Elijah, Elijah departs and he drops his bank. And when the man has conduct with Elijah, Elijah stands on the same river that they crossed earlier with his master. And the other prophets are standing on the other far side and they are looking. They want to see the results. Are you going to do the same things that your mentor was doing? Are you going to speak in the same tongue as your mentor? And remember, 
the double portion, when these disciples that I was referring to in mysteries and revelations, when they start speaking in tongues, you need to notice it. They were speaking in double tongues. They were speaking in the tongue of the revelator and in the tongue of my mentor. That is a double portion. A double portion, why? Because their mentor is submitted under his mentor. So there are two mentors that are now mentoring them, but they don't need to be mentored by my mentor. That is called the order. They can now be mentored by my mentor through my mentorship. Why? Because when I'm mentoring them, automatically my mentor is now imparting in them. So they don't need to go directly to my mentor. They need the mentorship through the revelator and automatically they are under the double portion of a spiritual covering. Are you understanding what I'm saying here? The impartation is automatic. I did not even have to declare it. They started speaking in tongues, double tongues, in the tongues that I speak under and the tongues that my mentor speak. Lahila rako prako seketa. Lahila leka prako sokota. There are two tongues there. Lahila reko te prako sokota. There are two tongues there. The two tongues that are there is that there is my mentor and the, there is the spirit of the revelator. There is the spirit of my mentor, the born servant of Christ, the, the custodian of realms, and there is the spirit of the revelator. Two mentors mentoring one individual, but one mentor is being used as a ghost representative and while he is also operating under his so you are getting what i've already qualified to get what i've qualified to get already is a double portion this is why when i release the anointing it is in a double impact it, we do not we do not receive things single we receive things at double levels the other prophets are waiting on the other side. Elijah has been taken. The double portion is now upon Elijah, but we need evidence. And as Elijah is standing on the riverbank, Elijah has already been taken by the horses and chariots of fire. The other prophets are still watching. We want to see, are you going to cross the... Was this last time that you crossed with your master? Your master smote the waters hither and thither, and they parted both ways, just like Moses did when he crossed the Red Sea. Are you also going to do the same? And Elijah smote the waters, and there was nothing that happened. And the other prophets, they started laughing on the other side. Why were they laughing? They are laughing because they are saying, all this time you have been following your mentor and you are trying to do the things that he, he was doing, but it's not work, working. But now, Elisha took the jacket, the mink, and said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? And as he, he smote the water record, the waters parted either and thither. And the other prophets, the junior prophets from the college of the prophetic school, when they saw this, they said, surely the spirit of Elijah is now upon Elijah. I'm talking about the spiritual covering. The spiritual covering, when it is now fully covering you, you start operating under the total works of that covering. There are people that are only good at being covered by a funeral police, but they are not covered spiritually in their lives. But when it comes to being covered by a funeral police, they pay all the substitutes. They do all the recommendations that are required by a funeral police. But when they when it comes to taking the task, the assignment that is required by a mentor, by your master, no, you can't. The waters, they've obeyed it, Elisha. Why? Because they can now sense, even the water can now sense that this man is, is now carrying the, the spiritual genes, the DNA, the features, the similarities of Elijah, who has got these abilities. And Elijah crossed the waters. When Elijah crossed to the other side, they were waiting for him. And some of the prophets, they started inquiring, where is your master? Can we send someone to go? We have people like that, that don't want to submit to their direct mentor, to their immediate mentor. They want to know who is your mentor so that you can follow him. 
I just gave you a reference that there are disciples that start speaking in the tongue of my mentor after I've prayed for them, after they, they've contacted with me. You can have someone after you have mentioned this that wants to go and submit directly to my mentor. Then you know that there are people that have got a problem. These junior prophets, you have been given a man that is qualified at the level of your mentor. You have been given a man that has been given the qualities of your mentor, but you still want to, to go directly and connect with Elijah. Elijah has already departed. In actual fact, you don't have any contact. You don't have even the contact of Elijah. For you to have a, a, a contact with Elijah, you probably have to fly to Cape Town. Not only do you need to fly to Cape Town, you need to have enough money to book Elijah. You don't have what it takes for Elijah to even pick up his call and answer your call. Even Elijah will not even answer your, your, your WhatsApp call, your WhatsApp message. I'm talking about my mentor. You want to see my mentor. You, you think you're going to receive a direct mentorship guidance advice from my mentor in the same way that i guide you you are lying i have not even received that but i'm closer to him than you they're asking the fifth the other prophets where, where is elijah why because they don't want to submit to elijah they don't want they don't realize that elijah now holds the capacity at a level of a double portion and then elijah allowed them and said you can go and search why because he doesn't want to argue with you you, you are convinced that the man that is mentoring such a gift is the one that you must mentor you are convinced of your of the mentor of your mentor but you don't want to get convinced by your mentor when you see the great works in a man and you want to know who is his mentor so that you can follow him, why is it that you don't want to follow the great works that you have evidently seen in the man? By the way, all the works that I'm doing, I started before I met my mentor. Then I met my mentor because of humility. You are under not only my covering but the covering of my mentor why because the, the covering of my mentor also covers me so you are automatically covered spiritually by your mentor the revelator but while you are under that covering you're going to get some attributes of the things that i've benefited from my mentor but your corruption is like being like the other junior prophets that wanted to go and see my mentor why because they had seen the works in elijah but they don't want to get anything from elijah they want to get it from elijah but elijah is far beyond he's not rich he's already in a realm that is far beyond for him to interact with you so these prophets are soon going to learn that you, you have to submit to Elijah. And one man came up and said, I have the first submission. The water in this city is so bitter. And he required that Elijah use the waters. Eventually they submitted. They had no choice. Why? Because they went and searched for Elijah's mentor, but they could not find him. Child of God, I'm here to lecture you on the mentorship rules under the spiritual covering. Whatever you need from your mentor, whatever you need from the Holy Spirit, whatever you need from God, Whatever breakthrough, we don't break through, we enter through portals in the of teleportations. Whatever you need, I'm promising you that you'll get it under the spiritual covering. If you believe that you have your own ways of getting it, you can try it. After having fought all these demons, I say you can try it and you can see what you'll get in return. I'm here once again under the spiritual covering of my mentor, the born servant of Christ.
the custodian of realms, lecturing you on the spiritual covering in the name of Jesus. <laughs>